Hello guys, welcome back to Baclawless Maximus. In this video, we are going to try and recroll people in an Among Us lobby. What is a recroll? Glad you asked. First, let's just Google what a recroll is. In this definition, cherry picked by Google, it is a prank and an internet meme involving an unexpected appearance of the music video for the 1987 Rick Astley song Never Gonna Give You Up. The meme is a type of a bait and switch using a disguised hyperlink that leads to the music video. But I think the Urban Dictionary will have a better definition so I'm going to check that out as well. According to the Urban Dictionary, to Rickroll is to send someone a link to the 80s pop star Rick Astley's Never Gonna Give You Up video making them believe they're gonna see something completely different. And this is the reason you never click on random links on the internet. This and malware. I will be playing the game on my phone since I don't have it on my PC. And in order to have a fair warning, I even need my character Rick Astley before joining the public lobby. In my first attempt to recroll the lobby, someone put in the second line of the chorus before I could. All I can say is, this is a pretty chill lobby. This was the new map and this was my first time playing on it. So I mostly just roam around trying to get to do my task. The imposter sabotage something important and dealing with it was the first thing I got to do in the game. Someone reported a dead body as I saw it around the corner. So I thought it was kinda sus. Before I could report him, the actual imposter left the game, thereby ending it. My problem with this lobby was that the player speed was 1x, which is frankly too low. Personally, I find 1.5x as a best speed for the game. It's not too slow and just slightly fast. After I sit in the lobby, I entered another one immediately and got to work. This time I was able to put in the second line of the chorus before someone else could. But they beat me to the third line of the chorus. I haven't thanked them for being a good sport because I only knew the first two lines. I'll be doing this again, so please do subscribe. Some people in the lobby were confused with what was going on and frankly I had a good time seeing them confused. After a while, we started asking the lobby creator to start the match. It took a long while for the match to begin. Couple of people left the lobby, some new ones joined, they left and the cycle kept repeating itself. We kept asking players who we thought were the lobby leader to start the match. As it turned out, the little person who created the game was drunk, I didn't know it was him. I had great hopes from this game. It seemed like despite choosing a different map, I was selected for my previous map pick. Thank you. 
It's hard to help during emergency, especially if you are not familiar with the map, as is clearly evident from my movements here. Fun fact, if a person uses the line you weren't there or how do you know, it's quite likely that they are imposter. It's nothing scientific but it's just from my personal experience. Also here this claim is stunted by the fact multiple players were also reporting this person to be the imposter. And we were right. I wanted to play a map I was familiar with, so I exited the lobby and joined a new one. In this map, I'm quite good at destroying asteroids. It's nothing to be proud of, but I'm quite good at it. Another thing I'm kind of good at in this map is swiping the cards. 
although since I hadn't played the game in a long time, I was quite rusty at it. I'm hoping to achieve my previous level dexterity here after a few games. Once the meeting was called, I get right back to the one mission I had when I started playing this game. To Rick Kroll people. Sadly, they were too focused on the game to even notice that. Here, I had some problem with my controls, probably because of the screen recording. Black was the imposter. I found out when he killed me. And I have to say, being killed in the middle of a task is frustrating. I decided to complete the rest of my tasks so that other players can win by completing their tasks. And I think it's true to leave after being killed as a crew. We only had one imposter in the game and I knew it was Gal since he killed me. So it was quite jarring to see Orange just roam around my dead body without even reporting it. It was especially inconvenient as I couldn't try and recall other dead players. I forgot chat could be accessed once you are a ghost. As I mentioned before, I didn't remember all the lyrics to the chorus of Never Gonna Give You Up, so I had to wait a long time before I was sure what the lyrics were. Since I had already finished my task, the only thing left to do was haunt the imposter. There should be an option to do other crewmates tasks if you are done with yours as a ghost. Developers should look into this. One good thing about observing the imposter as a ghost is that you either learn how to be good or how not to be bad. That gives you a chance to be a better imposter than the one who killed you in the future game. This imposter could have easily killed someone in the cargo bay since there was just so much opportunity but I guess they had their reasons not to. The ghost chat wasn't completed yet, so I tried and recrawling once more. Sadly, no responses this time as well. One trick to learn here is that hard watching for someone seems to remove attention from you. Good trick to keep in mind as an imposter.
considering there were only three people left, the imposter only had to kill one to win the game. So I was surprised they weren't going for a kill. Then I thought it might be due to the kill cooldown. Shortly later, the black just dropped orange, thereby winning the game. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you have a great day.